This is John Singleton, and here he is hitting an absolute bomb off of Angels lefty Reed Detmers. Now, there's more to this home run than it's simply giving the Astros a 3-1 lead in the second inning. This home run off the bat of John Singleton is the first home run he's hit in the big leagues in eight years. So how exactly is that even the case? How is that possible? Where has he been this whole time? To truly understand how significant this moment is, there of course needs to be a lot of context added. And in order to get that context, we got to go back to the beginning. But before we go back to the beginning, make sure to subscribe if you're a baseball fan and haven't done so already to join the community. Thank you. Back before the 2011 season, John Singleton was a prospect in the Philadelphia Phillies organization, but not just any prospect. He was ranked as the team's second best prospect, so with that of course came with a good amount of hype, hype that the Houston Astros bought into. Because not long before the 2011 trade deadline, the Astros, who were the worst team in baseball that year, of course decided to sell, trading away all-star Hunter Pence to the Phillies in exchange for four players including John Singleton. And right away, the trade seemed to work wonders for both parties involved. The Phillies ended up winning over 100 games and winning their division, with Pence playing a huge part in that success, hitting 324 with an OPS over 950 in 54 games in a Phillies uniform to close off 2011, plus they were getting him an extra year. And on the Astros side of things, Singleton immediately became Houston's number one prospect, eventually being named to represent the Astros in the 2012 Futures game, which for those who don't know, is basically the all-star game but for prospects. Things were going really well for Singleton. He was having a ton of success in the minor leagues, with expectations he can become a big league star, but in June of 2012, there would begin to be a pattern of issues for Singleton, as he tests positive for marijuana, going on to play in the Arizona Fall League in the offseason leading into 2013, but in January of 2013, things got a little worse. Houston Astros were expecting to see one of their top prospects, John Singleton, in AAA Oklahoma City to start the season and maybe even in an Astros uniform come September. But the 21-year-old Singleton was banned 50 minor league games after testing positive for marijuana this offseason. You know, this is a learning experience from a young man and and um, we all have those uh, opportunities to, to learn lessons in life, and this is just one for him. So Singleton was hit with the 50-game suspension, and he was then told to go to Houston to meet with manager Bo Porter and to see a therapist, one who would evaluate him for addiction. Singleton then soon went into a rehab center, staying there for a month. When he first got into the rehab center, Singleton didn't sleep for three days straight, staring at the ceiling after they turned off the lights. His heart was beating fast, he got night sweats, he was going through serious withdrawal, and wasn't open to the idea of staying at this place, wanting out. But after a while, he told himself that he was going to be there for 30 days, that he has to make the best of it, and use this situation as a learning experience, and so he did, attending classes and therapy sessions with other young addicts. Singleton got into marijuana at a very young age, apparently smoking on and off since he was 14 years old, blaming the culture he grew up with on Long Island Beach, where Singleton estimated that 80% of his friends not only knew where to get marijuana, but knew how to get it in under an hour. Singleton eventually made it back to the baseball field, getting promoted all the way up to AAA at one point in 2013, but started to struggle a little bit, not hitting too well, and that led to some anxiety, some depression, and some drinking. Actually, a lot of drinking, as he'd basically use it as a substitute for marijuana, getting drunk almost every day and waking up hungover every morning. But that eventually stopped too, as he'd play in the Puerto Rican Winter League and did really well, leading the league with nine home runs, reporting to spring training in 2014 in good shape and in a much better space mentally than the year prior. And with that, Astros general manager Jeff Loonhow had faith in the young first baseman, saying, quote unquote, my expectation is that with everything that happened to him, we want to build up the positives from the end of last year and get off to a real good start in AAA and then force his way onto the roster in Houston. And force his way onto the roster in Houston is exactly what would happen because on June 3rd, 2014, John Singleton would make his big league debut. But before that, before ever playing in a big league game, the Astros showed enough faith in Singleton to give him a five-year contract worth a guaranteed $10 million that had the potential to go up to as much as $35 million. This was actually the first time this has ever happened in baseball history, where a drafted player with no major league experience got a contract. 
That happened on June 2nd, and like I said, on June 3rd, so just one day later, Singleton was a big leaguer, hitting a home run in his debut for his very first career hit, and less than a week later, Singleton would belt a grand slam in Minnesota against the Twins, and in early August, he'd hit an inside the park home run against the Blue Jays. Overall, though, he didn't have a great rookie season, hitting 168 with a 620 OPS, which is way below league average. He'd start the 2015 season in AAA, did really well, got called back up to Houston in the summer, but ended up only playing 19 games for the Astros, and they weren't good, as he'd hit just 191 with a 625 OPS, connecting for one home run. Singleton played all of 2016 in AAA, was not good and eventually placed on waivers by the Astros, meaning another team could pick him up. Nobody did, and so he stayed with the Astros organization, but played at an even lesser level in 2017, spending the entire season in double A, and the numbers were just not good enough. And then, in January of 2018, Singleton failed another drug test, being suspended for 100 games this time, with him straight up telling the Associated Press, and I quote, At this point, it's pretty evident to me that I'm a drug addict. I don't openly tell everyone that, but it's pretty apparent to myself. I know that I enjoy smoking weed, I enjoy being high, and I can't block that out of my mind that I enjoy that, so I have to work against that. A few months later, in May of 2018, in the middle of Singleton's suspension, the Astros released him. And at this point, John Singleton's baseball days seemed to be over, or at least the days of him ever going to the big leagues again. His performance was lacking, he was back to smoking marijuana, literally admitting that he is an addict, it just seemed over. And on top of that, he was no longer playing professional baseball to stay fresh this whole time, missing out on all of 2018, all of 2019, and all of 2020. Although he did try to start a comeback in April of 2020, signing a deal with the team in the Mexican League only to not play at all because of the pandemic. But finally, in 2021, Singleton was back on the baseball field playing in Mexico, and he was a monster out there, hitting 321 with 15 home runs, 36 RBIs, and an OPS around 1,246 games. And this was enough to catch the eye of the Milwaukee Brewers, signing Singleton to a minor league deal in December, and he'd spend the entire 2022 season with the AAA Nashville Sounds, hitting pretty damn well. He didn't hit for a good average at all. His batting average on the year was 219, but his OPS was over 800 as he'd connect for 24 home runs and drive in 87 runs while also drawing 117 walks, the most in all of minor league baseball. Seriously, straight walking machine. Singleton was added to the Brewers' 40-man roster in November of 2022, then designated for assignment a couple months later after the team signed Brian Anderson, eventually being released by Milwaukee only to then re-sign with them on another minor league contract for the 2023 season, where he'd start in AAA, playing well enough to be called back up to the big leagues. But just two weeks after that happened, the Brewers once again designated Singleton for assignment. He cleared waivers and then elected free agency, officially being without a team again. That is until a familiar face came calling, the Houston Astros, signing Singleton to a minor league deal and sending him to AAA, where he just absolutely dominated. In 33 games for the Sugarland Space Cowboys, yes, that's their actual name, Singleton hit 333 with an OPS over 1,000 swatting 12 home runs, and on August 8th, Singleton was called back up to the big leagues, pinch hitting in the ninth inning against the best reliever in baseball right now, Felix Bautista, drew a walk, and then scored after Kyle Tucker hit a go-ahead grand slam. And then the night of August 11th happened. The Astros were taking on the Angels at Minute Maid Park in Houston, Singleton's first game at this ballpark in eight years, and in his very first at-bat at this ballpark in eight years, this happened. Singleton hits one high, hits one deep, fair ball to three run bomb, it is! He come back up to the plate the very next inning, and what did he do? Take the second pitch of the at-bat into the right field stands for his second bomb of the game, eventually finishing the night with three hits, two being homers, and five RBIs in a night the Astros won 11-3. John Singleton just disregarded his last name and decided to hit some homers instead to kick off his comeback, the first homers he's hit in the majors since 2015. And I'm not sure what's more impressive and fun to look at, the baseballs getting crushed or Singleton's bat flip after he crushes them. I mean, just look at these beautiful bat flips. I'm rooting for John Singleton to stay in the big leagues just so I can see more of them. But in all seriousness, John Singleton had a long journey to get to this point. Will he end up staying in the big leagues and being an impactful player? 
Who knows, but the fact that he never truly gave up after all the addiction obstacles that stood in his way and the struggles, it's pretty cool to see. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.